march in chicago was just one of more than 600 around the world the largest march today took place in washington dc surpassing even organizers expectations nearly a half million people packed the national mall for the big rally they came from all over the country. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely is live in Washington, D.C., where he caught up with a group of women from Chicago at the march. Derek? Good evening, Jim and Mai. Indeed, police and organizers were simply stunned by the size of the turnout here in the nation's capital. The march itself was both delayed and rerouted because streets along the original route were so packed that people simply could not move. We walked to the rally site with a group of six professional women from Chicago. Ah, thank you. For these six Chicago women, like the momentum to come to Washington was born as soon as the election results were known. I didn't feel like I could make a difference just by sitting in my living room, and I wanted to come out to Washington yeah. and be here. And they weren't surprised about just how fast the enthusiasm for the Washington March grew. I think anger can really drive people to do things quickly, especially when you want to fight against wrong. This is incredible. We walked with the women on their protest journey. Wow. Two miles from their hotel to the rally site. What do you want? Equality! Some acknowledging this action should have come before the November vote. We should have been out there saying, let's band together as women. Some of us did, but now, you know, we, we're here for a common cause. In two years, it's going to change. The sheer crush of the crowd at times brought our journey to a stop. I'm wondering how we're going to get through, but I'm also really excited. These women also motivated by President Trump's attacks on immigration. As a child, Christina immigrated from Croatia. It makes me sad when we turn away people for very stupid reasons or we're afraid of them for absolutely no good reason. But these Chicago women awesome. encouraged by the statement they made today in Washington. If women don't turn out and others whose rights are endangered, we could go back to where we were 100 years ago. So I'm glad that so many people are with us today. In a tweet, Hillary Clinton reached out to the participants saying, thanks for standing, speaking and marching for our values. We're live in Washington, D.C. Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Jim and Mai. Derek, thank you.